All right, we're just gonna check in here real quick. We're, uh, as you can see, we're back in the whole Arctic snow regalia. Uh, <coughs> it's cold as hell. Um, I did go back to bed this morning about 10 o'clock, 10.30, and I woke up about one. And I just kind of been meandering around today. We got fucking sugar bear going on. That's a big activity for the day. Um, as you can see, I've been doing a lot of writing, a lot of fucking, you know, just sitting in front of this smoky, crackly fire, and just doing what we always do, just doing some thinking, and <laughs> I just really, 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 really need some sunshine. Um, I've been here, I think today's the 20th, maybe the 21st. It's a month, I mean, I've been here... I got here on the 23rd, there was 31 days last month, so I've been here a damn month. Um, and honestly, in 30 days, four days of sunshine. And it's just getting fucking old, man. I mean, you gotta deal with the, with the, uh, with the banging on the, <laughs> or the raindrops on the tarp, that's just brutal all night long. Um, and then when you wake up, it's freezing ass cold and pouring down rain. And, and come on, let's be real. It makes it a little difficult to just run out when, you know, I mean, shit, you don't want to run to the store when it's raining. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's been raining on me for a month straight and it's brutal. Um, and now we got Sugar Bear to deal with. And I'll be honest with you, there is zero fear whatsoever. I think for me, it's just going to be a nuisance. Um, cause he will come back. I mean, he waited 30 days to find this place. He's comfortable with me. I'm comfortable with him. He didn't scare me. I didn't scare him. He will come back. There's too much food smell around this camp, um, you know, for him not to be coming back. So he will make a return trip. And I don't know if that's going to be in the middle of the night. I don't know if it's going to be during the daytime. I don't know if it's going to be sneaking up on me. I don't know if we are going to stumble across each other in the woods and scare the shit out of each other and try to kill each other. Um, I just really don't. It's a nuisance. Uh, it'd be totally cool if he was, you know, just walking by every day. That's one thing. But he's coming into camp and for him to come that close into camp, I mean, that fucker was three feet away from me. I mean, not even three feet. So, I got to tell you, though, when I unzipped that little window inside and uh, looked out and saw four feet away from me, a fucking big old bear head, um, the number one thing that happened was is I was ex as excited as hell. Um, granted, I did grab the gun, but I had the camera. I walked out. I never pointed the gun at him. I never fucking... Raised my voice, hey bear, get out of here. I just came out, what's up, Grizzly Bear? How you doing? And uh, he was not scared of me. He sat right there for you know a minute or so, looked right at me, and then when he moseyed up to the next set of trees right here, he went up three logs, he just sat right there. And you know I made some more noise, and he hit that big cedar, and fucking leaped over that thing, and he stood probably six feet tall. Uh, he could be six and a half feet tall. I mean, he was a big bear, so. Uh, you know, we got a bear in camp, and like I said, there's zero fear, it's just nuisance. It's just constantly looking over your shoulder now and wondering, is there a fucking bear standing behind me? Um, you know, because, you know, it was 7.30 in the morning, but I didn't hear him until he moved that toe. Actually, that's not true, because I heard him moving all around. I just didn't think it was a bear. Um, I figured it was just a, you know, raccoon or a freaking, you know, one of many little creatures. And, um, you know, to my amazement, it, the noise got to me, so I looked out the window and bam, Sugar Bear. So I wrote a song about Sugar Bear. We can get along. I mean, we can coexist. I got bacon and eggs for the morning and fucking I got a little weed, so we should be able to get along. But I just don't know how he feels. And after this, we have one cigarette left. So we're smoking lots of that home stuff. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. I can't run into town. I got no more money. So, but, uh, so Sugar Bear is obviously the, uh, the thing for the day. He, uh, he was cool, man. He was huge. He was just lumbering around and 
big old fucking ass on him, her, him, who knows, but, um, big old bear. So, we got zero battery, we got zero everything, and uh, we're burning through the last bit of wet wood. Tomorrow we'll have to go and scavenge some more wood, but, uh, yeah, sugar bear. Got a bear in camp. I just hope it's not a nuisance. I just hope he doesn't come back every fucking night and start ripping my shit to shreds. And if I put all the stuff inside, then he's going to come looking for it. And if he comes looking for it, he's coming through the tent. And if he's coming through the tent, i got to shoot him. And quite honestly, as stupid as this sounds, I shoot a fucking bear. What do I do with him? I mean, really, what do I do? Fucking, you know, skin him and make a coat? I'm not really sure. So... I don't know, man. We're just going to uh, keep our eyes peeled for Sugar Bear and keep on looking behind us. That's about all we can do. So we're still good with the trip. We're still digging it. We're still at peace with ourselves. We'd like some smokes, but fuck whatever. Um, I say that now because I have one left. Ask me in two hours. I'll be going crazy. But uh, got some hot cocoa. Got a good crackling fire going. And... Uh, we're just going to keep our eyes peeled for Sugar Bear. I'm almost a thousand percent convinced he will be coming back tonight. There's no reason he won't. I mean, he's found food now. He knows a hundred percent this particular location there's food. So, he would be a stupid bear not to come back. And he, looking at me, he didn't look too stupid. So, uh, Sugar Bear will make a return trip. I just hope it's friendly. It, I know it's friendly. I mean, bears aren't fucking, they're not going to stalk you and eat you like a cougar, but I got one of those too. But, um, you know, and then the other thing is, is black bear, brown bear, I, I don't honestly know the difference other than I was under the impression that brown bears were not in this area and black bears were the most common. And, and you know, it goes black bear, brown bear, grizzly bear. So, you know, a grizzly bear is a big ass black or a big ass brown bear that lives where there's shitloads of food, i.e., fish in Alaska. Um, and grizzly bears used to be all over here, so these are the descendants of grizzlies. Um, I don't think any bears are aggressive or mean, but uh, you know, it's still a brown bear. And and if you say bear in this part of the country, everybody say black bear. And I've not heard the term brown bear, or I've not heard brown bear being up here at all. So I'm going to play a little game with Rich when he shows up and be all like, dude, there's supposed to be some black bears in the area. Should I be afraid? And see if he even knows that brown bears are up here before I even tell him that I got a bear in camp. Because I don't think brown bears are real common. And I think I've stumbled on something that's fucking kind of cool and kind of, you know, original. I may have the only video of the fucking Cascade Mountain Rage brown bear. <laughs> I doubt that to be the case, but either way, I got a video of a bear three feet away from my fucking front door of my tent, and I'm just going, how's it going, bear? Because I, you know, fuck, I got no grudge against a bear. I didn't do nothing to me. I used to snuggle with him when I was kids. Fuck it. <sighs> Some good cocoa. It's drinkable. Still got yellow on the battery. When it goes red, I'm gonna turn it off. The battery in the the car battery, hold, it'll actually recharge itself enough to give me 10 minutes worth of charge on the camera. So if I let it sit there for five or six hours and then plug the battery back in, I can get 10 or 15 minutes worth of charge. So I'm gonna let it go yellow. <sighs> Keep talking about sugar bear, and uh, when it goes red, we'll shut it down. But yeah, man, Sugar Bear right there. That's fucking cool. I do. I think that's cool as hell. Now, 3 o'clock in the morning tonight, when he's fucking scratching at my tent door, I'm just going to talk to him and be like, dude, I don't want to shoot you. Come on, man. Fucking go away. Come back tomorrow or something, or I'll leave some food for you over there, but I don't want to shoot you. I have no desire to kill Sugar Bear. I mean, fuck, it'd be like shooting fish in a barrel. If I was shooting it in my camp, that's not fair. 
All right, battery went red. We're gonna shut it off, and uh, we'll try to charge up later and talk before we go to bed. So, right there <laughs> is where Sugar Bear was. How you doing, Sugar Bear? So, we'll see you later. Bye.